Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kahalayan La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim, teaching about the mind while moth. That's the sincerity and truth. It's the brother Yachazak from Great Millstone, Dallas, and uh, I just wanted to do a uh, response video to the, uh, to the, uh, you know, the Manasseh Zakbar in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he was going into uh, Will You Scoff when the proud guillotines roll. You know? And uh, it's just, I mean, man, it's so much pride in the world right now, which the scriptures tell you pride come before destruction. But um, I've been watching videos over the past couple of days, and there's so much going on, you know, to where you have to, you have to, do a lesson, man. You have to let the people know, man. You know what I'm saying? They refurbishing guillotines and uh, all these different school shootings, man. I saw um, I saw a video earlier where it was uh, pretty much basically saying when it's back to school time, your kids got to be ready to protect themselves, man. You know? And that video, that video shows kids, and it, it's pushing fear pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Now here it is. When we tell you what the Lord is gonna do, we preach it hate. But the commercial that they showed is pumping fear, but we the fear mongers. Right? Here it is. You training kids to get ready for the school to get shot up. Right? So that's what I'm saying. Come on, come on, man. That's what they learning. That's, that's what I'm saying. They're not even teaching regular courses no more, man. You know, they got trannies teaching your kids. They got homosexuals teaching your kids. Lesbians teaching your kids. 40 hours a week. That's what I'm saying. While you at work for 40 hours a week, your kids at school 40 hours a week. And they teaching them stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Don't try not to get shot. Hide her or hide there. How about you? How about you? Uh, uh, man, whatever, man. Whatever. This devil is setting this thing up by design, man. At the end of the day, man, you can see what it is. Right? And just like the brother was saying, just like uh Manatsu Zakba is saying in this video, man, you on the comment board talking noise and you proud and you acting like these scriptures that we coming out with ain't gonna come to pass, man. When the Lord talks about the hour temptation and all those different things, man, you don't think that's coming? Right? Romans chapter three, verse three says um, so what if you don't believe? Shall the faith of the Most High not be effective? No. No, just because you don't believe it don't mean the Lord ain't going to do it, man. And a lot of people is going to die coming up, man. Right? It's just true, man. It's just true. You know? And I'm going to let the brother's video play some more and I'm going to do some commentary. And then, uh, I got a uh, Maccabees, uh, Second Maccabees chapter 7. I might not get into the whole chapter because I'm on my lunch break, but... Yeah, the brother, the, the brother is making some, 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 some very serious points through the spirit, man. To where these people don't, these people don't, they, they gonna get caught like a thief in the night, just like the scriptures say, because they don't think these things are real, man. They don't think these prophecies are gonna come to pass. He was talking to the evil, like he said these plagues are gonna come upon you in their perfection. Mm, hold on, let me slow this thing down. Right, but you are gonna get caught up in it too. And for your and for your trouble at the end of it, if you don't wind up dying in a FEMA camp, the missiles are gonna come and they're gonna devour you, man. Let's read this one. Revelation 3, verse 10. See, and what, what the brother is going into is all the prophecies that the scoffers don't believe are gonna come to pass. Okay. Thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, when he said he's gonna keep you from it, it means he's gonna give you the power to withstand in that evil day. Not that you ain't gotta go through it, like Nate telling you, man. You gotta go through this tribulation. That's right, man, and you do gotta go through this tribulation. Why? Because the servants are not greater than their master, man. Yahweh Shai suffered persecution. All our forefathers concerning the prophecies and the prophets suffer persecution, man. You see? And the, 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 the upper hand that we have is that the Lord told us that we were going to suffer persecution. We're not getting caught off guard, right? Just like the brother said earlier. Yeah, we see the comments and sometimes we get pissed off. But at the end of the day, 
at the end of the day, man, you sealing your judgment just like we working on uh, our salvation. So at the end of the day, it's a back and forth that has to be. The Lord even said that we are, uh, 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 for the gospel's sake, we are made enemies. And that's talking about Israel, against Israel, right? It's going to be a time of trouble like it's never been on the earth, right? But also there's going to come a time where they're going to be offering the mark of the beast. Everything can go back to normal if you just take this chip. You think you, you it's easy to say, yeah, I won't take it. Like the brother um, Holden Fern from Barbados said on the comment board. He said, you know, it's easy for me to sit here and tell you that I'm not going to take the chip. Or, you know, and just go to the guillotine when they got, but what about if they got your son or your daughter whom you love dealing and they got them under the guillotine they about to chop and they holler, mama, death. And that's a strong possibility, man. And that's a strong possibility. And that's why I wanted to get 2 Maccabees chapter 7. You see? Because I go into this all the time. I've, I've done this chapter. I went into this chapter several times for several different uh, reasons. You see? But to focus on this one, at the end of the day, man, the scriptures say strive for the truth unto death and the Lord will fight for you. Right? So just like the brothers going into, man, I say it all the time. I'm like, man, look. I pray to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, through the spirit that the zeal that I have on this video, when I'm in no danger at all, I have a more increased zeal when I'm in a situation where my head is in a guillotine or if they got both of my sons or my wife or whatever the situation is. You see? It's a strong possibility that this can happen. But at the same time, you already know that if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're following the scriptures the way you're supposed to follow the scriptures, then the Lord is going to look out for you, man. Right? Now, it says, uh, this is uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 7. And it's uh, and just like the brother is going into uh, the hour of temptation. The Lord is going to look out for you if you keep his word. It says, it came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. And were tormented with scourges and whips. That's what I'm saying. Back then during that time. It was uh, forcing pork on you. Fast forward up to now, it's going to be that RFID microchip, man. Just like the brother said, they're going to be offering it to the point to where it's going to seem convenient. And then it's going to come to a point to where they're going to force it. It says, but one of them, but one of them that spake first said thus, what wouldest thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our fathers. See, now it was, they probably had that attitude all the way up until then. But the spirit had to be put on them once they were actually in that situation. Right? Just like the brother said, yeah, it's easy to say you ain't going to take the chip when you sitting in your car. It's easy to say you ain't going to take the chip when you on your lunch break. It's easy to say you ain't going to take the chip. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when you on your way to the house. But it's going to be a whole different ball game when you actually in that situation. And right now through the spirit, we being built up. So when that time come, knowledge and wisdom is going to be our stability in that time. Not fear and cowardice. It says, but one of them that spake first said thus, What wouldest thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. Right? And that's a spirit that has to be put on you. It says, then the king, being enraged, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot. Just like that's what I'm saying. They got the guillotines. Esau got all kind of different torture devices, man. You can go back into the history and look how they used to do us during the chattel slavery days, man. Roman candles and all these different things, man. It says, which forthwith being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first and to cut off the utmost parts of his body, the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. So the brother came with an example. Yeah, it's easy for you to say that you ain't going to take that chip. If your head is in the guillotine, it's easy. But that's what I'm saying. What if they got your mama? You know how Jake loved their mama, man. What if they got your dad? Huh? You're going to have to deal. But these things were written aforetime for our learning so we can see that these things are super possible and that it's a way out of it, man. Even if you, I would say, even if your spirit leave your body, you're still good because we have an understanding of death as well and how they really don't exist. You see, you got to have understanding to be able to uh, withstand in that evil day, right? It says, now when he was uh, when he was thus maimed in all his members, he commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire and to be fried in a pan 
and as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully saying thus you see so keep in mind this is happening in front of these in front of the family man the brother just made a beautiful point yeah what if they got your mama what if they got your daughter what if they got your son what if they got your wife what you gonna do right like the little like the jake said in bahamas his little son was reaching for him man that should be stuck in your brain but you know what the most high as i just did a lesson remember terrible demon-like power you too busy thinking oh god love everybody man the most high about to unleash terror on the whole world that, that that's what I'm saying, man. And he gonna release he gonna release terror on the whole world because that's his reaction to how they treated the apple of his eye, which are the Israelites. Okay? From Judah on down to Issachar, man. All 12 tribes, man. Right? It say the Lord looketh upon us and hath in truth comfort in us, as Moses in his song, witness to their faces, declares, saying, and he shall be comforted in his servants. Right? So now, I'm going to skip down. All right. Okay, the sixth brother. All right. Now, this is verse 19. 2 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 19. It says, But think thou that takest in hand to strive against the Most High, that thou shalt escape unpunished. Matter of fact, let me go up one. All right, I'm going to start at 16. It says, Then looked he unto the king and said, Thou hast power over men, thou art corruptible. Thou doest what thou wilt, yet think not that our nation is forsaken by the Most High. You see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you have to have that spirit on you to be like, fuck it, man. These brothers was like, to hell with it, man. It is what it is, right? And you're going to have situations where they're going to try to talk you into it. They're going to try to make it like it's a good idea. They're going to try to intimidate you. But look, man, our power is greater, man. It says, but abide a while and behold his great power and he will torment thee and thy seed. You see? So instead of being cowards and like, no, nah, man, just give me the chip, man. Just save my mom, man. Just don't kill my brother, man, please. Fuck you, devil. What? You see? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, ruling the kingdom of men. And it's only a matter of time before he send me back here for that recompense. See, we have that understanding. We have that understanding. You know? Without that understanding, you're going to lose. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Salak, so like if, 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 if it look like I got on shades, my glasses are transitional. You know what I'm saying? But if I got to take my glasses off, you know what I'm saying, to show my eyes, then so be it. But, you know, when I uh, whenever I'm in the sun, my, my, my glasses darken. So... It says, uh, after him also, they brought the six who being ready to die. That's what I said, ready to die. Ready to die. You see? Now the brothers going into how these scoffers going to be scared as hell and shaking in their boots. But the men of the Lord, man, the men of the Lord, they're going to have a completely different spirit on them. Ready to get up out of here. Ready to roll. Ready to be on the right hand side of the Father. Ready to come back in my lot. Ready to come back in my lot. Okay? For we suffer things for ourselves having sinned against our power. Therefore, marvelous things are done unto us. See, at the end of the day, you got to acknowledge that we was at fault, right? If your head is in the guillotine, it's because the Lord is proving a point. You see, if your head is in the guillotine, whether you get your head chopped off or whether the Lord break that blade and, and, and raise you up, whatever it is, the Lord already planned it out. The Lord already wrote it. You see, and the scriptures tell us, man, if you die in this truth, your works ain't gonna be forgotten, man. So you gotta know that. Alright? It says, But think not that thou uh but think not that takest in the hand to strive against the most high that thou shalt escape unpunished. Yeah, that's what I said. So if the Lord, if the Lord regulated on me, he damn sure gonna regulate on you. That's what he's telling this devil, man. Alright? It says, But the mother was marvelous above all and worthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day. She bear it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. You see? You take a woman now, you take a woman nowadays, you take a woman nowadays that actually love her kids, 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about these dragons and these ostriches that put their babies in microwaves and all that madness. I'm talking about a mother that really has a genuine love for her children. The, 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 the biblical love for her children. All right? Take a woman today with seven kids and kill all of them in front of her and see how she handled that shit. We built completely different now than we was back then. But that spirit is coming back, man. That spirit is back. Yea, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with uh, courageous spirits, and stirring up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach, and said unto them, I cannot tell how ye came into my womb. For I neither gave you breath nor life. Neither was it I that formed the members of you, uh, uh, of every one of you. But doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generation of man and found out the beginning of all things will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again as ye now regard not your own selves for his law's sake. You see, moms don't teach like that no more, man. And neither do fathers for that matter. You see, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. But we see, we see through the spirit, man. We see through the spirit that these things are going to come upon us, man. And how are we going to handle them in that day? Right? That's what I'm saying. And he just tried to go to the dude's mama. You know what I'm saying? He tried to go to the dude's mom at the end of the day. To try to get her. To, 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 um, to talk him into eating pork. Or taking the chip. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll use your mama. Esau ain't above using your mama, man. <laughs> you see? It says, but when the young man would in no way... Oh, I skipped the verse. It's lucky. Verse 24 says, Now Antiochus, thinking himself despised and suspected it to be a reproachful speech, whilst the youngest was uh, whilst the youngest was yet alive, did not only exhort him by words, but also assured him with oaths. You see, he tried to get the brother to sell out. Here it is. You done killed all my brothers. And then you going to try to offer me a purse, nigga? Come on, bro. But this, this devil has no limits, man. It says, but also assured him with oaths that he would make him both a rich and happy man if he would turn from the laws of his father. That's what I'm saying. You can't be a rich and happy man if you turn away from the laws of the father because you're going to be destroyed. That happiness is going to be short-lived, man, because if Esau going to give you an oath and, and, and all that, man, it, it comes with, it, it's unrighteous, man. You see? He gonna want to stir at your butthole, and you know what I'm saying. He gonna want to. He want. He, that's what I'm saying. He gonna want to masturbate himself with your hand. Fuck out of here, bro. No. You ain't gonna be rich and happy if you make a deal with the devil. Verse 25. It says, "But when the young man would in no case hearken unto him, the king called his mother, and exhorted her that she uh, that she would counsel the young man to save his life." He didn't realize who he was dealing with, man. He was dealing with true believers on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. In totality, to where they understood that death is temporary, man. Alright? It says, but, be, uh, but she, bowing herself toward him, laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn, spake in her country language on this manner. O my son, have pity upon me that bear thee nine months in my womb, and gave thee suck three years. And nourished thee and brought thee up unto this age and endured the troubles of education. I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth and all that is therein and consider that Yahweh made them of things that were not. And so was mankind made likewise. Fear not this tormentor. Right. See, a scoffer going to fear the tormentor, man. You see, because that's going to be your judgment for scoffing. It's going to be your judgment for coming up against the heavenly father and his men. It says, while she yet, yeah, while while she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, "Whom wait, uh, whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment, but I will obey the commandment of the laws that was given unto our fathers by Moses. And thou hast, uh, and thou that has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews shall not escape the hands of Yahweh, for we suffer because of our sins." And though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. You see? 
at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you're an Israelite and you've been chosen, the Lord is going to put a spirit on you to make it through this. Either you believe that or you do not. I believe it. The men here at Great, St uh, Great Millstone from the apostles and elders on down, believe it, man. Right? We don't have no reason not to. Because you best believe these seven brothers going to get their lick back. Right? It says, For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the almighty power who seeth all things. For our brethren, who now have suffered a short pain, are dead under God's covenant in everlasting life. See, they died in the truth. All right? It says, But thou, through the judgment of Yahweh, shall receive just punishment for thy pride. You see? So, our punishment is short. Your punishment is going to be worse, man. You're not going to walk away from this. It said, But I, as my brethren, offer up my body, made a living sacrifice, and life for the laws of our fathers, beseeching Yahweh that he would speedily be merciful unto our nation. They did it for the nation. Okay? We ain't doing this for ourselves, man. We doing it for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And our nation, man, and our people. Take with that what you want to take with it, all right? All right. It says, And that thou, by torments and plagues, mayest confess that he alone is Yahweh, and that in my uh and that in me and my brethren, the wrath of the Almighty, which is justly brought upon our nation, may cease. Right? They, they went ahead and took that death in hopes that the rest of the nation could profit from it. But then here it is. You got niggas that'll sell out. You got niggas that'll sell out and just lead their nation to the wayside. It says, The king being enraged handed him worse than all the rest and took it grievously that he was mocked. Right? So imagine now. Imagine now. It's more technology. He's more wicked. He's had more time to think about all the things that he wants to do to us. He's been meditating terror. Just like it said, we're going to meditate terror, man. So this man died undefiled and put his whole trust in the Lord. That's what I'm saying. So here it is. He's saying, we sinned. This is why this is happening, right? But it says here, it says, so this man died undefiled. So this man died undefiled. Why? Because he held fast to the word, just like... The brother Manatus Akbar brought up in uh, uh, Revelation chapter 3. The hour of temptation. During the hour of temptation, during the hour of temptation, we're going to be suffering these types of things, man. But the Lord is going to bring us through it if we show him that we're worthy. It say strive for the truth unto death and he'll fight for you. Then Yahweh shall say some of us ain't going to taste death. You got to look, man. Either you believe it or you don't, bro. <laughs> either you believe it or you don't. It said, last of, uh, last of all, after the sons, the mother died. Let this be enough now to have spoken concerning the idolatrous feasts and the extreme tortures, man. So the extreme tortures, all these things are coming, man. While you on the coming board scoffing, you can scoff all you want. You can call us all the names you want. You can make all the points you want to make. But the terror is coming, man. The king of terrors, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh all right, is about to unleash he about to open up, man. And rightfully so, man. You just said it. The brothers put it up. Cannibalism, guillotines, FEMA camps, right? Bloodlust, bloodletting, man. Man, the most high about to get busy, man. And we and we trying to, with our limited imagination, we trying to tell you what it's going to be like. Shalom, Jim, S. Atlanta, and all the brothers coming through. We trying to tell you, we hastening you to the best of our abilities to tell you what it's going to be like. But we don't really know. You got to think back to the time when the Egyptians was on the scene. It said the darkness was so thick. Even you could turn on the light and it still wouldn't. You still couldn't see shit, man. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about something unreal, supernatural, evil playing out of the earth. And he's going to put his most diabolical evil spirits on Esau to do his terrible work. Esau ain't running shit. It's the most high that you should be fair. That's why I just did the lesson. You know, they're talking about a blood sacrifice, but you have to remember the terrible demon-like power of the Lord. Gave a whole people hemorrhoids, man. Right? Drowned the whole water, the whole world in water and saved eight people. Brought a plague of flies, gnats, thunderbolts coming down, burning up everything. Hey, you better realize what you what you what you're dealing with. You Jace better, you know, 
get your mind focused and try to be more serious, man. Y'all be ignoring the scriptures. We be putting together lessons, man. Brothers be doing lessons. They be deep. But Jake be acting like it ain't nothing to it. You'd rather go watch the all-white King Ephraim with all-white on, you know, at a damn uh, all-white affair. No, man. Hey, when the most high, hey, Shalom to the to the apostles and elders too coming in there. You know? GMS I sell. James 5 and 11. Behold, we count them happy which which endure. He have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. And we pray for that mercy. The water, GMS I sell 144. I think that's our elder um, I not if I'm not I'm not mistaken on that. You know, in any event, hey. One of the elders, right? One of the men we learn from. That's a serious thing. But see, these people that scoffing and mocking, you won't be scoffing and mocking when them proud guillotines start rolling. And I got to bring this up. It was a long time ago, an uh, Edomite had came on the comment board. He put a comment up and then he took it off. He said that, yeah, we've been planning to kill. Something like to the fact that we're going to kill you Israelites around the clock. When the FEMA train start rolling, we're going to be killing you up around the clock. He said that to me on the comment board, man. So don't think that these people that's watching, that's playing on the comic book, some of them are agents. And they watching. You know what I'm saying, man? That's what I'm saying. Through the scriptures, through the scriptures and through the spirit, we see these things coming, man. That's why we're telling you. Right? Just like John, John, uh, John had the uh the the, the uh, revelations on the Isle of Patmos. That's what I'm saying. These things are being broken down now, so we can tell you. Right? This is uh Revelation. I'm gonna end it on this one. This is Revelations uh 22. I'm going to start at 8. It says, And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Right? And these things are, are happening to us. We see through the Spirit and watching the news and the way the Lord set this thing up for us to be able to see so that we can tell you, man. The men told us and it changed our lives, man, through the Spirit. It says, Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship Yahweh. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. See, these prophecies have been opened up, man. Right? Whether you believe it or not. For the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according to, uh, to give every man according as his work shall be, right? And that's what the Lord is coming back to do, man. That's what the Lord is coming back to do. So if you righteous, you're gonna be okay. If you wicked and filthy, you're gonna be wicked and filthy, and you're gonna be destroyed, man. But at the end of the day, man, just like the brother said, all that scoffing on the comment board and all that, look, for the people on the comment board who are sincere, let them stay sincere. For those niggas on the comment board that's insincere, let them stay insincere, man. And at the end of the day, the Lord going to separate the sheets from the goats and keep it moving, man. All right? All right. Well, shit, man. Hey. Hey, with that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim, teaching about the Mayamwa. That's his sincerity and truth. Shalom.